We live in a world where you can go onto YouTube or Audible or you can go to a seminar like now. The answers are out there. People know, generally speaking, in life, business and health, what they need to do. The information is out there. Right. What are your best tips to people that have come to this great event to move to a step of action to, to if they've been procrastinators, if they've been people that... Sometimes there's people that are course junkies. They go to a lot of events. Right. And what happens is they know the information, but somewhere along the line, the execution doesn't take place. What do you say to them? Well, the most important thing about all that is you have to go, there's always a, a blockade. There's, there, there's a barrier in your brain. There's a barrier. You got to find out what kind of removes that barrier from your brain. My biggest barrier was my father. And once I removed that barrier, I was free to think. And once I felt good about myself, I was free to put action in. I never felt good about myself. I never felt good about myself. Whenever I would get somewhere, the demon would come back, put me right back in the cage. If you don't go back, like I'm a runner, left knee hurts. A lot of people focus on that fucking left knee. A lot of times it's your fucking right hip. And that's about life. You got to figure out what has messed you up mentally. Go to the source. Go to the source. Go to the origin of the source. Like and, peeling an onion. Strip it. it down. And that's what I did to myself. So that, you know, that whole accountability mirror. Did you do it on your own? Did you do it with any help? Every single thing I've ever done that's in that book or anywhere else was on my own. Everything. Every, my mom worked three jobs. My, I, I was raised in a town of 10,000 people with a KKK marched in a 4th of July parade in 1995. There wasn't a lot of fucking help. My first car got spray painted nigger all over it. And I was, and I, I was so dumb at that time. People say, oh, don't call yourself dumb. I was fucking dumb at that time. That they spelled nigger Niger. <laughs> Y'all motherfuckers can laugh. I know there's a lot of white people in here. It's okay. <laughs> and I went to the principal, and the principal said, it's all you can tell me. And my mom knew about none of this because I felt so sorry for her and how she grew up, or kind of grew up because she was 19 when she met my father. And I saw this young woman just become a shell of herself. She's 72 now and still, she has everything, everything. And she still lives back there. Cannot live in the present where she has everything. All the money she wants, she's healthier than me, everything. But the demon brings her back in the cage.